What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Sagittarius, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for Sana Sagittarius. This is resonate if you have Sag in any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Haven, your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. I did. I felt guided to do Sag. I heard Sag, then I got a message. So that's why I'm doing Sag's reading. Um, Merry Christmas, everybody, for anybody that celebrates. Happy holidays if you celebrate. Okay, so... The channel message I received, of course, only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest for general collective reading, okay? You only take the messages that resonate. It's the first time of Sag, it can resonate any aspects of Sag, if you resonate, okay? Okay, so the channel message I received was, and this obviously is for a lot of Sag fems, or you have masculine and fem parts, how that resonates and applies. But the channel message I received was, Sagittarius is about to find out they're pregnant. Some with baby two, some with baby three, some with baby four, some with baby five, some with baby six. Six! That's a lot of kids. Of course, you know the Duggars. They had like 19 and counting. So, I, I mean, I don't judge, but I don't want no more kids. And that's just the damn truth. But some such, they either have fem and masculine parts or fem parts. They're about to find out they're pregnant with baby two, three, four, five, and six. And I heard one of these situations, they are a celebrity. So you plug it in, how it resonates Sagittarius. One, you're a celebrity. One, and others, I guess you're not. But maybe two, three, four, five, and six. You plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, I also heard a Libra father and a, uh, a Libra father and a Scorpio father is significant in this. So I think for some of you guys, you're either dating or you're in a relationship or you're married to a Libra masculine or a Scorpio masculine. How that resonates and applies. Baby two, three, four, five, six. One of you guys is a celebrity. Scorpio, um, so I'm sorry, scorpion and vulture for some. You're dealing with a um, fire sign or a water sign. Uh, one of you guys has a Scorpio father, a uh, baby father. Um, with the pregnancy or I guess maybe previous, but just uh, one of you guys is dealing with a Scorpio baby father or a Libra baby father. And that's just the truth. So we have the uh, Scorpio energy in here, water sign energy, Cancer Christ, Scorpio, and then fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. You plug it in, how it resonates there, Sagittarius. Share your message is here. Basket, recognition, reward for merit, vote, money, or property through an inheritance, winning, or windfall. Spirit message is here. I Wedge, someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. For one, you're trying to be kicked. For one, someone's trying to kick you out of a group. For one, so, um, you know someone is trying to be, someone else is trying to kick someone else out of a group. The one where you know someone else is trying trying to kick someone out of a group, you're about to make it backfire. You're an older Sagittarius feminine. 
Okay, so for one, you're trying to be kicked out of a group. Somebody's trying to kick you out of a group in some shape, form, or fashion. For uh, one of you guys, you're an older size femme, and you know somebody else is trying to kick another person out of a group, but you're an older size femme. I heard uh, it's about that you're about to make it backfire. You're an older size femme, if that resonates for you. I feel 35, 36, or above. Number seven could be very significant number in one's life. Number seven, happiness. I think for a lot of you guys, you're about to be happy you're pregnant. Um, I think these are happy pregnancies. And to my knowledge, everybody has to keep the child these days, to my knowledge. Um, Roe versus Wade is overturned, to my knowledge, unless they have reversed a decision. Um, so to my knowledge, everybody in the United States has to keep the child, whether they want to or not. But I don't know. I haven't had sex in three years. Just saying, just saying. Nor do I want to. Scorpion. A betrayal from an Aries, uh, not an Aries, an Aquarius co-worker is about to become very significant in a uh, Sagittarius' life. And a betrayal from a Gemini husband. Oh my God. A betrayal from an uh, uh, Aquarius co-worker and a uh, Gemini ex-husband, is about to, um, not ex-husband, husband, is about to become very significant in your life, Sag, if this resonates for you. So for one, you have an Aquarius co-worker. One, you have a Gemini ex-husband, uh, not ex-husband. I don't know why I keep saying ex-husband. I heard husband. For one, you have an Aquarius co-worker. One, you have a Gemini husband. Husband, not ex-husband. But some kind of betrayal is about to become significant in your life. Uh, whatever the betrayal is, whether it's from the Aquarius co-worker, it sounds like current co-worker, or um, uh, Gemini current husband. Getting stung with the Scorpio stinger, that's the betrayal energy um, from the Aquarius co-worker or the uh, um, Gemini husband, whether it's already happened or it's about to happen. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, it's about to happen. These are about to be huge betrayals. It's about to make you do something you never thought you would do. These are about to be huge betrayals. It's about to make you do something you never thought you would do. So these are huge betrayals, whether you fit in one of these categories or both or none. They're about, uh, it sounds, I heard they're about to be, so I don't think they've happened yet. Huge betrayals upcoming from a Gemini husband, current husband, legally married spouse or a Aquarius co-worker. There are about to be huge co uh, huge betrayals upcoming. You're about to do something you never thought you would do. So, um, stinger, stinger, Scorpio stinger. Um, but it's from a Gemini husband, current husband, or um, uh, Aquarius co-worker. For one... You're about to get offered to star in a new movie. You are a celebrity. For one, you're about to get offered to star in a new movie. You're a celebrity. So for one, you're a celebrity and you're about to be offered to star in a new movie. Uh, maybe a Scorpio is about to offer you to star in a new movie or a water sign is or a fire sign. And for one, you are a very famous celebrity, very, very, very famous celebrity. Through many shocking series of chain of events, you will probably send a very large donation to a reader. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Alabama and California is significant. Oh, shit. So you plug it in how it resonates. So for one, I'm pulling in heavy celebrity energy. So for one, you're a, a celebrity. Um, I heard you probably will send a very large donation to a reader soon. So whatever reader that is, whether it's me or somebody else. 
Um, I'm assuming you're probably going to watch this reading. So that's why I say me, but me or somebody else or whoever. But I heard hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, so, but if you're a very famous celebrity, I'm sure you can afford the shit. That's just the truth. Um, um, only you know your financial status, not anybody else's side. But um, I heard Alabama and California is significant. So we, you either live in Alabama or you live in California or the reader lives in Alabama or California or somehow Alabama and California is significant. Um, however that resonates and applies. You know this reader was betrayed in a huge way in the past. and You are right. Okay. Celebrity, I heard you know this reader was betrayed in a huge way in the past and I heard you're right. They were. So they have got the scorpion stinger, basically. Vulture. A Sagittarius feminine tarot reader, very karmic, dark, dark arts reader that intentionally siphoned uh, energy off a reader in the past. Their business is going to continue to decline. You need to hear this. Oh my God, a Sagittarius reader. So if this resonates for you, you're a dark arts karmic Sagittarius reader. You intentionally siphoned reader, um, not reader, you intentionally siphoned energy off another reader intentionally in the past. You have Sag in your uh, aspect in your charts in some shape, form, or fashion. You're a Sag reader. Online public platform YouTube. Okay, online public platform YouTube. So your online public platforms on YouTube, you intentionally siphoned energy sucked energy off another reader in the past I heard your your negative karma basically is your business your money's about to decline i heard you need to hear this so you were the scorpion stinger to another karmic um you were a karmic reader you didn't have good intentions for the other reader you scorpion stung them so now your karma negative karma upcoming in the universe is your money about to decline This is about to depress you in a huge way. Because there's a lot of kids around you. And a lot of mouths to feed. Okay, I heard this is about to depress you in a huge way. Because there's a lot of kids around you and a lot of mouths to feed. So depression energy is the... And this is energy sucking and depression energy. The vulture energy is. Um, the money about to go down is about to depress you. Because you have a lot of mouths to feed. So that could be kids, foster kids grandbabies, what have you, what have you. But in all fairness, you shouldn't have energy harvested and energy sucked off another reader because that makes you a karmic reader. You were the stinger in this aspect. So honestly, I don't feel sorry for your negative karma and that's just the truth, okay? I just don't. For one, you're about to learn of a very wealthy water sign masculine about to pass away soon. AIDS, AIDS is very significant. For one of you guys, you're about to learn about a very wealthy water sign masculine, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio masculine about to pass away soon. Um, I heard AIDS is significant. So there's a very wealthy Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio masculine in the universe that has AIDS um, and he's about to pass away. I think you're about to be depressed. Uh, with the vulture energy i think he um was a integral part of your life or he is now um but you're about to learn he has you're either about to learn he has aids or you're about to learn he's about to pass away somehow uh, but he has aids if that doesn't i mean if that resonates um i don't know if you're gonna be told he has aids or not but um if this ends up resonating for you and they don't end up telling you um maybe maybe you put the pieces together that he has aids but i think it's going to make you depressed um, how that resonates at a plaza. He was betrayed in the past. He got, um, somehow he acquired HIV, which turned into AIDS. Um, so he was betrayed in the sexual department in the past. Yikes. For one, you have been sexually connected to him and you're about to find out you have HIV soon. Oh my God almighty. For one, you were sexually connected with him. It sounds like past energy. And you're about to find out you have AIDS soon, so you are about to be stung with the Scorpio Stinger 
sexually in the sexual health department. You're about to find out you have a um, HIV and you got it from him. Holy God. Whoa, this is deep. A Sagittarius feminine is about to turn in a Pisces a fraud doppelganger into the FBI soon. A Sagittarius feminine is about to turn in a Pisces femme fraud and doppelganger into the FBI soon. So one of you guys, you're a Sag femme. I feel you can be Sag any aspects, your charts, any age, whatever, whatever, whatever. Only you know if you're good. Only you know if you know of this. I heard she's a Pisces femme fraud and a doppelganger. Now a doppelganger is somebody that looks a lot like somebody, whether they intentionally made themselves to look like somebody or they naturally look like somebody. But they naturally... They definitely look like somebody else, but they only, they not only look like somebody else, they have frauded that person too. Um, but one of you guys knows about it or you're about to learn about it. And I heard you're about to turn them into the FBI. So Federal Bureau of Investigations, Fed level, if that resonates for you. You're a Sag fan, if that resonates for you. I think, so. ooh, I think it's going to make you happy to do it. It's about to make you very happy. Okay, I heard it's about to make you very happy, if that resonates for you. It's about to make you very happy to do it. Whoever that Pisces femme is, they not only, they took advantage of the fact that they look like somebody else, is what it sounds like. So much so that they identity thieved them and frauded them, which is terrible. They took it way too far, and you know this. Okay, I heard they took it way too far, and you know this. So they took the fact that they look way like somebody else way too far and you know it that's why you're about to report him to the federal bureau of investigation i don't blame you sagittarius fam i don't blame you vote money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall For one, you're about to learn of someone else about to get property that they should have gotten a long time ago. For one, you're about to buy land. For one of you guys, you're about to learn. Um, you're about to learn of someone that uh, is about to uh, get some property that they should have got a long time ago, and money, and money, money and property they should have got a long time ago. So. In this aspect, it's not you, it's somebody else that you're about to learn about it, that they're, they're about to get money and property they should have got a long time ago. For one of you guys, um, for one, you're about to buy some land. So um, congratulations. And for one, you're about to learn of your uncle, for one, your aunt, for one, about to go to prison for stealing a stolen inheritance of the past. And for one of you guys, you're about to learn of your uncle, for one, and for one, your aunt, about to go to prison for um, stealing um, uh, in stolen inheritance of the past that they shouldn't have. For one, it's your cousin. And for one, it's your cousin. For one, it's your uncle. For one, it's your aunt. For one, it's your cousin. They're, uh, you're about to learn through many series of chain events. They're about to go to prison. So prison bars. Um, prison sentence. Um, because they stole stolen inheritance. In this aspect, this is stolen inheritance from someone, uh, someone else. And how they did that, I have no idea because I don't specialize in criminal. But I'm sure that involved a lot of forgery and fraud and probably false um, uh, notary of republic or what have you, what have you. Um, I don't specialize in criminal, and I'm sure it took a lot of criminal-ass people to do it. But you're about to learn they're about to go to prison, whether it's your cousin, your uncle, or your aunt. You plug in and how it resonates. Wow. In all fairness, they deserve it. And a realtor is about to lose their license soon.
for helping stealing proper stealing properties. For one, you're about to help put them there, help them lose their license. For one, you're about to be shot. Okay, and a realtor is about to lose their license through many series of chain of events because they help somebody steal property or properties. Um, they're about to be reported, and it's about to be a lot of reports. For one, you're about to make the report. Okay, for one, they're about to be reported, but it's going to be a lot of reports. I'm thinking through the uh, Board of Realtors in whatever state they have their license you're in, because um, you can report through the Board of Realtors. Um just like Board of Nursing or Board of Medical, whatever, whatever, or Board of Physical Therapy or what have you, what have you. You can report them if they're doing bad things. And whoever these people are, they did. They helped somebody else steal properties or property, um, abusing their realtor's license. But um, one, you're going to make the report on them. But they're not just going to have one report. It's going to be many reports. Um, I heard they're going to lose their licensure. And they should. They should. One, you're about to be shocked that they're about to lose their licensure. One, you're going to make the report. So only you know your situation and story, not anybody else Sagittarius, okay? Wedge, someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. As a, a Sagittarius is in a polygamous relationship. You're about to find out that the masculine energy is cheating very secretly with someone not in the in the polygamous, polygamous relationship. It's about to piss you off in a huge way. Oh, that's, whoa, okay. So one of you guys, you're in a polygamous relationship, so like a sister-wife shit. Uh, that's why I like being legally single. Um, nay, 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 nay. I don't believe in polygamy. I don't judge people that do polygamy, but I don't believe in it. But that's another reason why I'm legally single, so I don't have to deal with that bullshit. And that's just the truth. But one of you guys is in a polygamous relationship, so agreed upon many partners. But the masculine energy sounds like he has all these women, and he has a secret woman. Um, but she's not in the part of y'all sister wife shit. But you're about to find out about her, and I heard it's about to piss you off. So I think in this aspect, she the secret woman is um i think you are looking at her as the wedge but honestly Sag, if this ends up resonating for you it's not her it's him he made the free willing choice to make her secret he did that for strategic reasons ma'am so of course you can choose to be mad at her and think she's the wedge all day long but really she's not it's him he knew what he was doing if anybody needs to hear that okay i would cut his ass off and that's just the truth. And go get me somebody where you're appreciated, not tolerated. Because there's a reason he made her secret. It's not, she's not the problem here. I think you think she's the problem. She's not, it's him. If I was you, I'd cut him off and go get go get me a man that really loved and appreciated me. But of course you can choose to listen to the advice or not. A secret society is about to be reported in to the federal, for the federal agents soon. For one, you're about to report them. For one, you're a part of the secret society. Oh, okay. So the wedge in this aspect is the secret society. They have caused havoc in the city. They're about to go down. Okay. So in this aspect, the secret society is the wedge in the city. They have caused havoc in the city. For one, you're a part of the secret society, Sagittarius. Only you know if you're part of the secret society that's caused havoc in a city. For one, you are a Sagittarius about to be the wedge to this secret society, and you're about to report them to federal agent. So you're about to be a positive wedge because you know the secret society has caused a wedge in this city for years. So in this aspect, you are a positive wedge, Sag Sagittarius, because you're about to be a wedge in between the secret society causing havoc in the city, and you're about to report them to federal agents. Kudos to whoever that's for. For one, you are the wedge because you're a part of this secret society causing havoc in the city for years. So only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, Sagittarius. Basket, recognition, reward for merit.
For one, you're about to find out you're a part of the honor society in your college. Congratulations. For one, you're about to find out you're part of the honor society in your college. Congratulations. Recognition reward for merit is honor society in your college. Whether it's a technical school, a two-year community college like I went to, or a four-year state school or Ivy League, one of you guys is in school, college, you're about to find out you're part of the secret, um, not secret society, sorry, the honor society. So recognition reward for merit in this aspect is honor society. For one, you're about to report a co-worker for sexual harassment. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. Wow. And for one, you're about to report a co-worker for sexual harassment. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. So you're about to get recognition and reward for merit um, because you're supposed to be able to report without fear of retaliation. And that's the way it's supposed to go. Now, and that's just the truth. Now, have I been retaliated against um, in my community for years? Yes. I was. And that's just the truth. No. Was I working at that time? No. But I was retaliated against, but it's because I think the people in my community was fearing I would sue um, a company that I used to work at for sexual harassment, ironically. And that's just the truth. Um, but for one of you guys, you're about to report somebody in your workplace for sexual harassment. It's about to benefit you. So recognition reward for merit in this aspect is I think your company is about to take you serious and they're supposed to take all reports seriously. They're about to take your report serious and they're about to um, take it serious and you're about to get recognized in a positive manner and I don't think you're going to be retaliated against. You are not going to be retaliated against. It's about to backfire on the sexist asshole. Okay, I heard you're not going to be retaliated against. It's about to backfire on the sexist asshole. Well, good. It should. Happiness. For one, you're about to be, you work in a hospital. They are about to move you off a very intensive care unit to a general unit. It's about to upset you in a huge way. A very huge way. It's about to blindside you. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. They're not going to tell you this, but they think you're too old to work up there. <coughs> you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So one, you work in a hospital. Um, you're a nurse, RN. One, you're RN. You're RN. Um, you're a nurse, you're RN, and you work in some kind of critical care unit. So whether that's like CCU, PCU, MICU, ICU or like NICU, however that resonates and applies, you work in some kind of critical care unit, um, you're older for sure, um, but they're about to move you off the internal, um, not internal, intensive care unit to a more uh, like a med surge type unit is what it sounds like. Um, I don't know if it's like short stay or same day or uh, whatever, whatever, um, uh, med surge or what have you, what have you, but I heard basically they... Um, they, uh, they're not going to tell you this, but the reason, one of the reasons they're moving you is because they think you're too old to work up there. Of course, they can't tell you face to face that because you could go around, you could turn around and go to the um, EEOC and file a discrimination lawsuit on their ass for age. So of course they won't tell you because they think you're too old, but just know if that ends up happening for you, it's because they think you're too old, but they can't tell you face to face that because they know you can go to the EEOC and file a discrimination lawsuit on their ass. So just saying, just saying. For one, you're about to find out your daughter is pregnant. For one, you're about to find out your son has impregnated somebody. For one, you're about to find out your daughter is pregnant. And for one, you're about to find out your son has impregnated somebody. So I think your older Sag, if this resonates for you, masculine or femme, you're about to find out you have a new grandchild upcoming is what it sounds like. For one, it's your daughter pregnant. For one, it's your son that has impregnated somebody.
Happiness. One, you're about to be, find out about a family reunion soon. But you're going to choose not to go. Too much drama. Well, I don't blame you. I don't go to family reunions either, Sagittarius. And that's just the truth. So, if one, you're about to find out about a family reunion upcoming in the universe. And your family, it sounds like, or somebody else's family. But I heard you're going to choose not to go. Because it's too much drama. So, it's going to make you happy to decline the invitation to the family reunion. Because you think it's too much drama, and I don't blame you because I don't go to any family reunions either. Have I been invited to family reunion? Hell no. Do I want to go? Hell no. And that's just the truth. But I don't blame you because that's how, exactly how I feel. Um, it's going to make you happy to decline the invitation because you think it's too much drama. Probably because you get stung with the scorpion stinger at these damn family reunions, or it might be too damn depressing. That's the way I look at it. I don't want anything to do with my crazy ass family, and that's just the truth. And it sounds like you don't either. For one, there's about to be a very shocking custody change soon. One, you're going to be happy about this. One, you're going to be upset about this. For one of you guys, there's about to be a very shocking custody change soon. For one, you're going to be very happy about this. One, you're going to be very sad about this. One, you are a lawyer involved in this. And one, you're a lawyer involved in this. So for one, you're a lawyer involved in this shocking custody change, whether you're going to help it or not help it. You're a lawyer involved in one of these shocking custody changes. For one, it's going to make you happy of this shocking custody change for one that's not so you have to plug yourself in where you fit over here shocking custody change coming soon whether you are directly involved with it whether you're a lawyer involved with it or however you're involved with it okay For one, you're about to get offered a new job opportunity soon. Life changing. For one, a Leo feminine is about to get offered a job opportunity soon. Life changing. And for one, you're about to file paperwork for a divorce. Holy crap. So for one of you guys, you're about to get offered a wonderful job opportunity soon. It's about to make, I heard life changing. It's going to make you happy. For one, a Leo feminine, whoever the Leo fem is and how she resonates in your life. She's about to get offered a wonderful job opportunity soon. It's about to be life-changing, make her happy. And for one, you, Sagittarius, you're about to file for divorce. Now, only you know if you're about to file for divorce, not anybody else, okay? I feel you can be masculine or feminine, uh, about to file for divorce. Only you know if you're about to file for divorce. I don't know if it's contested or non-contested or however you're going to do this. I don't know if there's money, property, or assets involved in this or not. I don't know if there's children involved with this or not. And for one, you're about to be shockingly be asked to be subpoenaed. Not asked to be subpoenaed. You're about to be subpoenaed. And another person, a Leo Femme, is about to be subpoenaed to a very serious court situation soon. Subpoena energy, um, court situation upcoming. Uh, one, you're about to shockingly be subpoenaed. Now, subpoena is you have to go. You have to go whether um, you want to go or not. And that's just the truth. So I guess that's why you're asked to be subpoenaed and then, no, you have to go. Uh, because subpoena, you have to go. You have to go, whether you want to or not. And that's just the truth. So um, for one, you're about to be subpoenaed. It's going to shock you. You're about to be subpoenaed to this court situation. For one, a Leo feminine is about to be subpoenaed to this court situation. But if you were the one about to be subpoenaed to a court situation, I heard it's about to shock you. The Leo feminine is going to tell the truth. Nothing but the truth. Okay, I heard the Leo Femme's going to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. So uh, apparently that's significant to at least one of you guys, um, that the Leo Femme's going to tell the truth. So uh, obviously, you if you don't tell the truth in the court of law, that's perjury. For anybody who doesn't know, that's federal offense. Okay, just let everybody know. Um, but I heard the Leo Femme's going to tell the truth. 
Um, so obviously, if you're subpoenaed, it'd be smart to tell the truth. Because if not, you're asking to end up in handcuffs. If you might need to hear that. Just saying, just saying. And for one, your husband is about to be arrested soon. The family child molester. It's about to embarrass the hell out of you. And for one of you guys, your husband is about to be arrested soon. He's a family child molester. It's about to embarrass the hell out of you. So for one, you have a husband that is a family child molester. Only you know if you're married to a family child molester or not, Sagittarius. Um, I heard um, it's about to embarrass you. And yeah, I'm sure it will. Uh, but you should have reported him as a, uh, as a child molester to child protective services or to the police in the past. Fema needs to hear that. All right, love you guys so much. Merry Christmas and Namaste.